very thankful today that heaven is not a dream. Some people may think it's a dream. Some people may think it's not real. Some people it's just a fairy tale. Some people they hope for it. Maybe they're thinking that maybe you know it might come true. It might not come true. They you know they just kind of look for it. But do you know what? To the children of God, it's real. Just as real as I'm standing here. We have a hope. And not just any hope. Not just any old hope that you see, but a lively hope. And our hope lies in Jesus Christ. That He is the Son of God. And you hear a lot of things if you watched any of our other uh, 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 programs that we put on here. If you watched any of those other services. If you watched any of the other services from our other churches. Or the Northern New Home Church or, or Little Zion Church. You hear a whole lot of talk about Jesus Christ. You know, and, I, and I've got something to say about that. Brother Ed Wood, that's kind of what's on my mind a little bit. Uh, uh, and I may talk for a little while and see which, which way the Lord may lead me. And, and maybe the Lord will, will, will hopefully uh, uh, preach me just for a little bit. If not, I can still give you some good words and we'll, and we'll call it a night. But it's all about this man named Jesus. And you, you'll, you'll turn on the, uh, uh, the TV and you hear a lot of things as well. You can hear uh, uh, there's church services all over the land. There's, there's, you can turn them on a certain channel that's just dedicated to church services. You turn them on and you hear a whole lot of things. But and, and it was a shame to say is that I hear so much of it and I hardly hear the name of Jesus. Instead, the focus is on other things. The focus is on what you might be able to get or gain from Jesus, what you may be able to gain from joining the church, or what you can gain if you send money. And you hear that a lot. And, and they use all these outlets to try to find a way to fill a pocketbook, to fill, fill this or that, or fill a church house, or, or whatever it may be. But you know why we're here, Brother Darrell? I, we're here today because we have a, a concern about your soul. Right. So you're not going to hear us talk about money. You're not going to hear us talk about uh, uh, doing this and sowing this and sowing that or, or give this or give that. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know what? Uh, God knows what we need. Yeah. As a matter of fact, He says take no thought for tomorrow uh, 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 what you shall eat or what you shall drink. Uh, uh, you know what? Uh, uh, tomorrow sufficient with the evil thereof. Uh, uh, what shall we do? Uh, uh, he says to seek Him in the days of your youth. Uh, yeah. uh, and guess what? Uh, he'll add all those other things unto you. Uh, 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 your life is more than raiment. Uh, uh, it's more than uh, 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 what we try to get up in this world. Uh, yeah. uh, try to uh, pile up here or there. Uh, uh, people spend their whole life gathering things. Uh, 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 thinking it'll satisfy. Uh, uh, but when you mention about being satisfied. Uh, uh, and people, uh, uh, they'll stack up money. Uh, uh, they'll put it in their account. Uh, a lot of people need this stimulus package that's yeah. coming. Uh, uh, and that's alright. That's why it's there. Uh, uh, some don't need it, and they'll just put it in their stash and put it up. Uh, uh, they're, they're hoping uh, uh, that one day they can Amen. retire uh, and have enough money to handle it. Uh, 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 some people, uh, 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 they uh, will pile up other things, uh, and they'll hope for this, uh, uh, and they'll trust in those things. Yeah. Uh, but guess what? Uh, uh, what we see in this life is going to melt with fervor. It's not going to last. Uh, uh, it'll just satisfy for a little while. Right. Uh, uh, and guess what? Uh, it, it's going to fade away. Uh, uh, people get new cars, uh, uh, you know, uh, and they'll pull up to Walmart and they'll park a mile away uh, uh, because they don't want to scratch it. Uh, uh, don't want nobody to hit it. It's 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 good to them, uh, uh, you know, and they and yeah. they they love it and they walk away looking at it. Uh, uh, they give it a few months or a year uh, and they'll park it right on the sidewalk yeah. because it gets old to them. Uh, but I got some good news tonight. Yeah. Uh, uh, this man named Jesus uh, is renewed day. And he doesn't get old. Yeah. It doesn't dwindle down. But the fire, guess what? It's alive. Yeah. And we're alive in Christ Jesus the Lord. Yeah. This is not our home. Our home's not here. Yeah. We may be blessed with some things. And that's all right. But my treasures don't lay up here. Yeah. Right there. My treasures are in heaven. Yeah. With the moth. And guess what? And the rust won't get there. And these can't break in and steal. But my hope is in Jesus. Yes. So today we don't tell you all those other things about this land and what you can gain here or gain there. We're going to tell you about Jesus. Yeah. People spend all their lives looking on how to get rich and 
How do I have big mansions and all this and that? I've got some good news for you. Get Jesus in your heart. Uh, get born again. You want a mansion? Then come go to heaven with us. Uh, the Bible says in his house are many mansions. Uh, and if it were not so, uh, he would have told you. That's right. Gold. People, people stock up gold and thinking that's, that, that, that's good for them. That's their retirement. Uh, they, they'll, they'll put their money in gold. Some in silver. But you know what? The only gold I'm looking for, Brother Dyer, is the, the streets, streets of gold. gold. Yeah. Uh, uh, pure as gold. Uh, uh, and guess what? Uh, uh, I don't know what it's going to look like. Uh, uh, we can hear about walls of jasper, uh, gates of pearl. Uh, uh, we can hear about streets of gold. And all that sounds good. Uh, yeah. uh, but that's not why I'm going. Uh, uh, you know why I'm going? Because a man named Jesus. Yeah. Uh, he born me again. Yeah. I owe him everything. I was destined for hell. I deserve hell. But by the loving mercies of God. I, I, guess what? I can go to heaven and I believe with everything in me that I'm going there. I'm on my way. Right. So we're telling you today about a man named Jesus. And I think Jesus asked one time to one of his disciples. He said, who do men say that I am? And they looked back and they, they told him, well, so, some say Elijah, some say one of the prophets, and, you know, some say this or that, or John the Baptist. He said, but who do you say that I am? I believe it's Peter it's looked it. at him, didn't he? Mm -hmm. He said, he said, they are the Christ, the, the Son, the, the living God. Amen. They are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Think about that. That's what Peter told him. So today we're asking you the same question that, that, that he asked Peter. Who do you say he is? Who is Jesus to you? Tell is me. it something you've heard about all your life? Is it just a story you grew up understanding? What is it to you? If you can't literally say he's my king, he's my savior. Tell if he's not your savior today, he's still the king. He's Amen. still the son of God. Tell Does it change? That doesn't change the fact of who He is and what you believe. But we want you to know Him, not just as a name, not just as a story, not just something that you've read about or heard about. We want you to have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. We want you to be born again. Yeah. And I don't know who's listening. I don't know where this is going. I don't know anything about anybody out there of what you need. But I know that Jesus Christ to go ye to all the world, uh -huh. preach the gospel, yeah. and baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. There's a cause today. There's a purpose today. Yeah. And we're here today because we love you, and we want you to know and understand this man named Jesus. Yeah, that's right, brother. This world. My daughter asked me the other day, all the things we see going on, all the turmoil, all the things that's going up and down in this the, 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 you can look at the stock market and how it's just fluctuating and you can look at all these things and people don't have jobs and, and, and how it was a snow one day and a storm coming and we had Electric County got hit real bad and Perry County and Pike County and my daughter said, Dad, is this the end of the world? She said, is this, is this it? Are, are, we, are we here? Think about that. Yeah. All the things we see. Is that sign here? Is that sign here? All we know is this. He can come at any time. Yeah. Right. Come at any time. Things are so bad and things are so crazy and everything has been, oh, uh, we can look at all. He made a way and he fulfilled the way. People think, oh, but this has got to happen and this has got to happen and that's got to happen. Everything that's supposed to happen has already happened. Amen. The main thing that happens, Jesus Christ went to Calvary. He paid the price. Yeah. The way is made. And that is all that matters is that he died, was buried, he rose, he conquered death, held the grave, That's and right. he stands today with outstretched arms. Amen. I got friends. I got friends who spend their life Checking out prophecies and stuff and trying to figure out and pinpoint the date. This is it. This is coming. It's going to be on this day and this day. And you read it all through time. People say that. It doesn't matter when he's going to come back. The question is, when is the end of your time? 
For life. We're not promised tomorrow. There's not anybody who's either watching this or sitting here today or, or, or been on any, no matter where you're at in life today, nobody's promised tomorrow. Right. Nobody can say with a surety, I know that I'm going to wake up in the morning. Uh, we can make plans for that. Uh, but you know what? We're not promised tomorrow. Uh, mm -mm. Oh, he says today is the day of salvation. Uh -huh. Now is the accepted time. And if the light is shining unto you, if God is drawing you, there's a purpose for that. There's a reason for that. And what you've heard here tonight, or what you heard the other morning, or what you've heard maybe listen to one of the other programs, or one of the other churches, what you've been hearing about Jesus Christ, if it's touched your heart, if it's, if it's preached to you just a little bit, and concerned you, there's a reason for that. Amen. There's people walking around who have no concern. That's because the light is not shining unto them. And they don't even know where they're at. But praise the name of the yes, Lord. Lord. If God is drawing you and you're concerned, uh -huh. it's because the light is shining unto you. Yeah. And God has given you opportunity Amen. to repent and be born again. Amen, brother. God is drawing. Mm -hmm. Praise God for that drawing power. Because it's not a matter uh, today of whether this is the end of the world or whether it's going to happen here or then or ne next week or a year from now. What matters is your life. That's right. Because you're not promised tomorrow. But while you have breath, while God is drawing, He wants you just to surrender everything unto Him. Repent and be born again. Uh, it's a change of mind, a change of direction, knowing you can't do it. Turn from your ways. <clears throat> And turn unto God. That's right. And you say, well, I'm trying my best to, to get it all worked out. I'm trying to bargain with God. I know people who try to bargain with God. I can tell you how it worked out. It's either His way or no way. Right. You don't bargain with God. Who are we to tell God what to do? Who are we to say, oh, I, you do this, God, and I'll do this. Uh, uh, we can't bargain. All we have is this filthy rags. That's right. He wants us just to surrender everything and understand who we are. We're sinners. We have no leg to stand on in front of God. Right. None. But Christ took that for us. If we'll surrender to Him and understand what He did on Calvary. And I've got a story to tell you for that. Mm -hmm. It's two men stood beside Jesus, hung beside Jesus on a cross. Yeah. And as Jesus was hanging there. He was innocent. Pilate washed his hands of him, which didn't help the case. He was still guilty. We're all guilty because sin is, is why he went. Uh, 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 and as he hung upon that cross, uh, uh, he, he knew he was he was sinless. Uh, he was perfect. He was the ultimate sacrifice. Uh, but there were two men beside him. Uh, 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 thieves, uh, uh, I guess you could say. Uh, uh, and I'm going to tell you, one was a thief, uh, but now I can say he's not a thief anymore. Uh, he was a He's a brother in Christ. Uh, 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 because as they was making fun of him and, and, and laughing at him, saying, yeah, get yourself down, save yourself, and save us too. Yeah. They was making fun and laughing at him. One reconsidered his, his, his situation. One kind of come to himself a little bit and understood and looked at the other one. He, he said, we got what we got coming to us. We deserve this. But this man has done nothing wrong. Yeah, and then he looked Jesus, uh, and he said, uh, 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 when you get to your kingdom, uh, uh, remember me. Uh, uh, he knew who he was. Uh, he realized what he'd done. Yeah. He knew he was guilty. And he said, uh, when you get to your kingdom, uh, now what's a kingdom, God? Uh, it's got a king, don't it? Uh, he uh -huh. understand who he was. Uh, and he uh, uh, gave him uh, uh, the praise for that. Uh, he said, remember me. Uh, uh, and this is the best word uh, that this man has ever heard in his life. Uh -huh. <laughs> he said, uh, this Day you shall be with me in paradise. Amen. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. God knows what he's doing, don't he? Yeah. That's right. This man could not get off the cross and change his situation. No. He couldn't bargain with the soldiers to get him down. He knew that he, tomorrow wasn't coming. That's right. He knew death was imminent. He just turned to Jesus. He surrendered yeah. it all. That's right. To what did he have to offer? Nothing. He was naked there upon the cross. All he had was his sin. And he put his faith in Jesus. 
I'm telling you today, you've got nothing to bargain with. That's right. And the things of this life, they may be pleasurable here just for a season. They fade away. But guess what? This man named Jesus, uh, 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 he, 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 he satisfies, Brother Darrell. Right. Uh, I've got ups and downs in life, uh, uh, just as everybody else. It rains on the just as well as the unjust. Uh, but guess what? Uh, 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 there's something inside of me uh, who is satisfied. Uh, uh, I don't go looking for this and looking for that. It doesn't matter what's going on. Uh, I'm anchored in Jesus. Yes. And I know I'm headed home to glory. And that's why we're telling you tonight. Yeah. Get this man named yeah. Jesus. Call upon him. Still away from your people, from your mom or your dad or your wife or, or your husband or your kids, whoever it is around you. Or find your closet place. Find your private place. And between you and God, and pour your heart, your heart out into him yeah. and call upon him before it's too late. Amen. Is this it don't matter. It could be your end. It could be my end. That's all that matters. And Jesus made the way. And that's why we declare it unto you. Amen. We're not seeking money. We're not seeking fame. We're not seeking anything. We're seeking souls. That's right. That's what we're yeah. after. We want people to go to heaven. We want people to go to heaven with us. That's right, brother. It's real today. That song I sung is heaven, if heaven's a dream. It's not a dream. It's real. It's real. But so is hell. Hell is real too. Yeah. Hell is real. There's real people who go there. A rich man one time raised his eyes in hell. Tormented. It's real. Mm -hmm. Would give anything for one more opportunity. One more opportunity to hear the gospel preached. One more opportunity to call upon the name of the Lord. One more opportunity. Didn't matter who he'd be around. You put his brothers that he talked about around him, it wouldn't matter. He'd jump right out to the Lord, wouldn't he? And you can put him in a big crowd, it didn't matter who would be around. He wouldn't be ashamed because he knew that hell was real. And we declare to you today that it is real. And so is heaven. But this man named Jesus today. I'm going to ask you one more time. Who is he to you? Who is he? He's my king. Amen. My Lord, my Savior, and my brother. Yeah. In the world, we're going to have trouble. Look around. But my faith is in Jesus, not in this world. No. <clears throat> and that's where I want you to put yours. That's right. So, Brother Darrell, I think I'm done unless you want to say a few things. Done, brother. We've had a good service Amen. tonight. Not a very long service. Doesn't take preaching for an hour, or preaching for two hours or three hours. What it takes is you listening. And then it, the Lord drawing you. Most of all, above all mm -hmm. things, the Lord drawing you. It's the only way to the Father. It's through and by Jesus Christ. And you can't even get to Jesus unless you're drawn to the Father. So that concern you have, I see people come to church. And you think, man, they're concerned. They'll come one meeting right after another and just come, just come. And you're hoping they're hearing. You're hoping they're taking heed to something. They say, you know, they're gone. You start asking around, well, where'd they go? Oh, they're back out to this and that. And all they're doing this and doing that and all kinds of meanness and stuff. They had a concern at one time and then it's gone. The light was shining under them. They had opportunities what they had. That's right. And they pushed it away. Don't put it off. And now they have no concern of heaven or hell. It's a scary place to be. It is. It is. Scary place. But I believe there's plenty of those all around this world. But while God is drawing you, mm -hmm. call upon Him. And if you feel the Lord has saved your soul, guess what? Message me. Call me. Call Brother Darrell. Call any of us. Let us know. And if you want a home, we'd love to have you here at, home, at Rock Fork Church. And we've got some water right here that we take you right out into to let you show an answer of a good conscience toward God. Amen. And show the world which side you're on. That's right. So go and tell your brothers. And I'm going to tell you this before we sing. <clears throat> to the church, all over the whoever's listening, to the church, I'm going to have right for church, I'm telling you, the church, mm -hmm. call your brothers and sisters and check on them. That's right. Make sure they got what they need. Check on the elderly. Make sure they're okay. Check on one another. Pray for one another. Love one another. This is a time that we should show love. People pray for love. They want love to abound. And they pray for it, pray for it, pray for it. God just does not say, zap, there it is, and just fill you with love. He gives you opportunity to love. That's right. And we have that opportunity in our land today. People are scared. Let's be that light. Let's be that beacon. That light set up, that city set on a hill. 
that cannot be here. Let's be that. Let's be that right now. This is a calling to the church to be that light. Amen. So God loves you.